Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Mine wasn't that great, but it was at least better than Ryan and Mackenzie Edwards. Over the weekend, Ryan put his wife on blast, you guys, letting the whole world know that his wife is a cheater, according to him. So Sunday morning around 2 a.m. Tennessee time, Ryan made a post to his Instagram account that he literally hasn't made an actual post on since July 20th, 2018. So this Instagram is kind of dead. Like he will post stories from my understanding. Like every once in a while he'll post stories. According to the comments, I see people saying that his stories are like wild conspiracy theories. However, his most recent story was about a nagging wife. <laughs> So, it looks like things between the two have not been good for quite some time if he was recently posting about a nagging wife, right? Um, so, now he is saying, though, that she cheated on him. On his first post that he put on his Instagram account, this is what he had to say. He shared this meme where it said, I trusted you, but now your words mean nothing to me because your actions spoke the truth. And he commented under that saying, your regret is common. The good Lord showed me what I needed, but not what I wanted. Now, obviously, we could all assume who he was talking about, but to make sure we really didn't have to wonder, he went on over to McKenzie's Instagram account and he made a post on a picture of them two in happier times. So on her picture of them, he said, take wife down off of this. Obviously referring to the part where McKenzie's bio, in her bio, where she says that she is a mama, wife, friend. He's like, girl, take wife out because you ain't a good one. I mean, she's still alive. You ain't got a divorce yet, you know? But he's like, take wife out of this. I'm not proud of being married to someone who stays out in bars and goes home with other guys. Tomorrow can't get here fast enough. Don't you know what happens when you lay down with dogs? Wait, look who I'm talking to. He then said, and then blaming it on my addiction. Yeah, divorce is the right thing. So I guess he must have caught her cheating and maybe her response was, well, you do drugs? I don't know. Like, I've dealt with a lot due to your addiction. I don't really know, but that comment was deleted. The comment under the picture of them two telling her to take, you know, wife out of her bio and accusing her of cheating, that was taken down. I don't think that it was taken down by Ryan because his post is still up. Okay, really quickly, the post was still up before I started recording this video, but when I went back to get another screenshot when I was editing, he had taken it down. So it looked like he got up this morning with a little bit of regret and he took the post down. So I don't know. The post telling her like, you lay down with dogs, you get up with whatever. Or, I trust you, but your words mean nothing to me. That is still up over on his page. So I do believe that Mackenzie was more than likely the one to remove the comment. So, I am curious to see if Ryan is actually going to follow through and go get a divorce. But you guys, I feel like, I don't know. This is just me. I don't know. A part of me is like, she has dealt with a lot from Ryan and he has cheated on her. So maybe does he owe her like just a one-time screw up? I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it like, well, you know what? You humiliated me in front of the whole world with our wedding and then with you 16, a 19 year old sending her pictures of your little third leg there, you know, like we went through this whole situation publicly where I was like completely humiliated. And like at least what I did, it wasn't publicly, you know, you put it out there publicly, but does he owe her one? Like, does he owe her to get back with her? Or is it kind of this thing? Like, nope, I, I, I did my mess ups, but I apologize. You agreed to stay with me and we should move on from that. I'm kind of like both of them. Like, I could see both. Like, a part of me would be like, well, dang, dude, you done messed up so much. Like, I'm not allowed to, like, screw up once, you know? But then a part of me is also like, well, if you do agree to move on, then you move on and you leave that in the past and you work on bettering your relationship. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that he owes her, like, one screw up where she goes out, she does something wrong, and he, like, he shouldn't divorce her? Or is it like, no, we're done. You, if she did cheat and he's saying that she did, it's done. I don't know. A lot of people's like, I'm surprised it lasted this long. A lot of people are saying, I really didn't think their marriage would last this long. People wondering like what led to this. Some people are saying they believe that it's because Ryan is having a better relationship with Macy and Bentley. If you're watching Team Mom Family Reunion, then you might know that Macy and Ryan, they are supposed to get together on this season from what Dr. B says. Dr. B has stated that Ryan 
did work out. Like she worked with Ryan and Macy on their co-parenting and that they co-parent beautifully now. So people are wondering if that has caused problems between Mac and Ryan because Ryan and Macy are getting along great. Um, other people are also wondering if Ryan fell off the wagon and if Ryan is no longer sober and that is causing problems in their marriage. Now, let me take you guys back to the situation with Ryan. Ryan allegedly first got caught cheating on Mac when she was pregnant with their first child. Pregnant with their first child. The same year that they got married. So they got married in May of 2017. And then they had their... Um, their infamous, their infamous MTV wedding, November 2017, right? Um, so they actually, when we saw them in the whole car scene, like, oh, I'm not going to tell Bentley, like, it's fun. He was already married. Um, but that was the one that we really know about. However, he was already married. Now, sometime in between that and 2017, little Mr. Ryan, he made a Tinder account. And he put his age, 25, when he was really 29, and he started talking to a little 19-year-old and was asking her to send him pictures. He told her that him and Mackenzie were separated. Mind you, they'd only been married a couple months. He told her that they were separated and he was single. And he sent her pictures of his little friend, you know, and he even asked for pictures in return. He's like, hey, send me some pictures of you. Send me a sexy one. And um, I don't think she ever did. Uh, from my understanding, the lady ended up putting them on blast because when Mackenzie found out about it, she texted the girl and was like, what is wrong with you? Why would you want to mess with a married man? And the girl's like, I didn't. Like, who said I, who, well, I'm 19. Why would I want to mess with a man that's first off lying about his age and has all the issues that Ryan has? Um, I think she was just kind of talking to him to see how far Ryan would go because she knew that it was Ryan Edwards from Team Mom. After Mackenzie, like, reached out to the girl and was rude, the girl, I think, allowed it to be leaked from my understanding. So, Ryan has dealt Lindsay a lot of craziness, like, but at the same time, Mac, you knew what you were getting into, so a lot of people think she deserves it. You guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Do you feel like they'll get right back together and he'll end up taking this off his page and they'll act like nothing ever happened? Or do you guys think that Ryan is going to leave her because she allegedly cheated on him? You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm going to stay on top of this. If anything else comes out, I'll hope to let you guys know. We're going to stay up to date. So you guys let me your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. I do have my main channel, LB, where I used to put all my reality TV content. However, that channel has switched over to True Crime. So this will be the channel where I share everything about Teen Mom, Sister Wives, Nundee, the Fiance, and anything else, anything that is Teen Mom related or reality TV related, and anything like that will be here. So make sure you subscribe. Go follow my LB channel if you like true crime. We are following the Alec Murdoch case, um, Quentin Simon, Athena Brownfield, Athena Strand, all those cases we are following over there on the LB channel. All right, you guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.